Now this illustration deals with fire pumps. And here we're applying the exception four to 230.90A. And notice that the overcurrent device to a fire pump has to be sized to a value that will allow the fire pump to operate to failure. Now just for the sake of the illustration, uh, we're applying 695.5B as in boy, which deals with fire pumps, and using 600%. And 600% of 65 would be 390. And we're going to apply the exception uh, to the rule, exception 1 to 430.52C or for fire pumps. And so we do definitely uh, will have an overcurrent device to allow the fire pump to operate to a failure. And notice that'd be 400 amp. But the conductor of 65 amp full load current would come along at 125% of 65. So it would be a number four conductor, but it'd be on a 400 amp device. And then notice uh, the overcurrent device and so forth would be sized to carry that fire pump uh, until failure occurred. Now, NFPA 20, 9.2 uh, lists these rules, but also lists what is considered reliable power to a fire pump. As we've said previously, if you reviewed the, all these chapters, uh, in the uh, volume one of Stockholm's Electrical Design book, that reliable power is when the utility power has not gone down in a collective four hours, as we would find in the uh, NFPA 20, which gives us uh, these rules. Now, we suggest very uh, highly that you uh, review the NEC loop sections, 230.2A1, allows a, another service in addition to the normal service for a fire pump. 230.72A exception says, yeah, you don't have to uh, group it either. And then 230.82, item 5 says you can tap ahead of a main that is considered reliable service uh, if the authority having jurisdiction gives you permission to do this. Some states, counties, and cities prohibit a tap ahead of the main. So you really need to check that out. 230.98, exception number four, uh, allows to size that overcurrent device to allow a fire pump to operate and, uh, you know, bring water to a, a location until failure. 230.94, exception four, further deals with this permissive rule for fire pump. And 695.4B, 2A deals with this rule also that says the overcurrent device must be sized in such a manner to allow the fire pump to operate till failure. So figure 6-46 is just basically showing the application of exception 4 to 230.90A.